WTFNN. Headline news update. Hi everyone, this is the TFNN Noon Update uh, by Basil Chapman, the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour and author of the opening call dating newsletter. We've got the Dow up 50 at 26,054. This is very interesting. Why? You see this on the left side chart here. You see this declining trend line. You see the two little lines. One's green, one's dash red. That's what I call the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. And the price is being repelled for a couple of days now. We're trying to test it again. And this is going to be very important because it will take a move into the 26,300s to really say this is not only a breakout, but it's a breakout that has probably very good technicals. And so far, the market has held very well, considering this is just a little bit of a hiatus after a spectacular move from 24,701 to the 26,248 uh, 26, level. So that's the Dow. The S&P right now, S&P is trading up uh, eight points at 2888. It, too, has a trend line. I haven't drawn that in. I'll draw it in right now, and I'll tell you exactly where this is going to. It means that uh, 2908 is really the breakout. 2912 is really where you start to see a very strong new leg be in the upside. So this is still part of the consolidation. The QQQ, same thing. QQQ is up 98 cents at 183. Uh, it is up 0.54%. So that is, that's kind of good. Up one at, at this 183.34 level. It's got a lot of work to do to really break out. I would have to say at 183, it needs to get to the 187.80 to 188.30 level. That'll be very nice. And in all cases, the, the, the support level is the low of yesterday. And we're looking at the IWM. Now, the IWM, the Russell 2000, is up a little bit stronger. It's up 0.86%, 1.32 at 152.80. This is nice action, but once again, we've seen this rotation between the small caps not being in favor, and then on a daily basis, suddenly they are in favor, but they really aren't going anywhere until you start to see the 154 level as a kind of a trading point that it needs to hold, and it really must not break underneath 151 over the next few days. Gold is having a very nice rally. It's up six points at 1342. But the dollar, interesting enough, is also up. And these are two, I'll talk about it in my show coming up right after these, this break. In the Tiger Technicians Hour, I'll be talking about how the dollar and gold can sometimes move in the same direction. I'll be back in a few minutes. Otherwise, have a great day and I will see you later.